everybody, Chris Shaver, Ponce Guy Doors. Today we're in Northern California on Lake Orville where they stock 110,000 Inland Chinook. We're gonna show you how to come out here with little knowledge at all like we have and catch a lot of fish. The key is having good bait, having a guy that knows how to troll, getting in and having a lot of fun. Let's see how we do. Oh yeah. Get that net before I lose this sucker. <laughs> Damn it. Just get him, Jeff. Don't worry about the camera. Look at this. Yes. Hey. Ah. Thank you. That's yeah. That looks better. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. Hey guys, we're out on uh, Lake Orville chasing uh, landlocked king salmon and uh, two techniques that we've used today specifically uh, involve uh, rolling shad and uh, tipping uh, our uh, hoochie baits with chunks of uh, fire brine and choke. Uh, let me show you how all this stuff uh, plays out and uh, you'll be able to use this technique on a, one of your landlocked king lakes as well. Okay, so one of our hot baits today has been the, uh, the Potsky's uh, fire brine shad. Uh, natural color is, is the silver color here and we had really good luck with the, uh, the blue uh, Posky Fire Brian. Um, I buy these, uh, these shad at a bait shop and uh, generally I marinate these things overnight. They're nice and tough and, and ready for fishing the next day. Uh, the way I rig, rig these shad, um, I have an octopus hook, uh, usually a, a gamagatsu and a treble hook. and. You need two hooks on this rig because you need to be able to bend these shads so that when you're trolling them, they'll actually spin in circles. So let me show you how I troll these or rig these up so you can try rolling them yourself. Stick them through the bottom of the mouth. I go up through the back or the top of the, uh, the hard portion of the head, just like so. You'll notice I tied a sliding hook rig on here. And this allows me to, to slide the hook up and down the, uh, the line so I can make that adjustment in the uh, in the shad so it'll bend and spin just right so I got the got the treble through the tail I got the octopus through the top of the head now I'm gonna gently without damaging the fish I'm gonna pull the line through and you're gonna see the bend okay give just a little bit more bend. Now when I stick this in the water, the angle that this, this uh, fire brine shad is, is at is gonna create a nice round spin. Um, you can adjust it in or out um, using your sliding uh, octopus hook uh, to give you a tight spin, wide spin, uh, whatever the fish they like that day. They don't like it the same way every day. All right, so what you see here is a, a piece of uh, the Pacific anchovy, and this particular piece of anchovy was uh, uh, filleted uh, just as I was thawing it out, and then I, I, uh, I placed it in a container with uh, natural or blue uh, fire brine, husky fire brine, um, overnight, and that seems to be sufficient. Uh, when I'm rigging my hoochies, all I'm doing 
taking a little piece of that that fillet I got a double hook rig here the the skin side of this is going to be a tough side so I penetrate through the, the tough side the skin it stays underneath your uh, your hoochie skirt and you're ready to fish He's on the other line, Jeff. He's wrapped around this one. <sighs> He's doing the death roll on you. Keep the rod to the right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, rod tip up in the net. Look at that. That's not your first time doing that. I see him. He's uh, the twin of the other one. Your rod tip up and you'll go right into the net. He got it. Nice. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Northern California. We're on world famous Lake Orville and it's world famous for what? Bass. One time it was ranked one of the top bass fisheries in the world. Fortunately, there's also a cold water component to this lake. Uh, several years ago, they used to stock coho in here and that fishery flourished. However, uh, roughly around 2012, they decided to make a switch and stock only inland Chinook. Now these inland Chinook have created a great cold water fishery for anglers, primarily trolling. We're out here trolling today with Jeff Goodwin of Jeff Goodwin Guide Service. Now guess what? This is the first time Jeff has ever fished this lake. We kind of conned him into leaving Chasta, coming up here and trying something. Shows you knows what he's doing. We caught and released tons of fish and we caught and kept some nice fish too. Now, most of these fish are gonna be anywhere from 12 on up to 16 inches on average. The reason being there's so many small ones in here, those are the ones that bite first. However, think about something. You can be in action all day long like we were. We did it two ways today. We took squid and we tipped them with uh, basically pieces of cut bait that were naturally uh, natural fire brined. Then we also used chat and we used blue and natural shad. A lot of people use chartreuse as well, but we just stuck with those two colors, stayed in the action all day. Now we probably kept, oh, I don't know, about 10 fish today. We released another dozen or so, and we didn't even start fishing till about 9.30. Fish from 9.30 till about noon, slept in, had a great time out here on Orville. Now, keep in mind, it's a pretty simple fishery. If you know how to troll, and you know how to troll well, you'll get into lots of action all day.